We are back with another Home Depot Kids workshop, and this one is just as fun as all the other projects that you've seen us do. But today we're outside and we are making fire trucks. So today we are gonna be doing this amazing little cute fire truck kit, and you can get it from Home Depot or homedepot.com, but you can also make it with cardboard and we have those instructions for you. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm Kojo. I'm Honey. And I'm Quavo. And today we're gonna show you how to do this project with your kids, whether you're inside, outside, it's gonna be fun for the entire family. So let's jump into this project right now. You know, it's usually the kids making all the noise. Today, it's the cicadas. This ladder truck kit comes with one body, one light bar, one ladder base, one cab, two ladder supports and one ladder, four wheels and four axle pegs, and you get all the hardware that you need to do this project right at home. And like all the other workshop kits, you'll get a sheet of stickers, a certificate of achievement, and they get their own smock with a pin to put on the smock. So you'll also need a hammer, a number two Phillips screwdriver, some wood glue, some sandpaper, glasses, and don't forget the mask. Start with sandpaper and smooth down all the edges of the wood in the direction of the grain. For step one and two, you'll need your wood glue. Place the body with the wheels facing down in the hole in the back and place a little bit of wood glue on the underside of the cab, placing it on the body, keeping those edges lined up. Then you'll take two of the long nails and hammer it together. For step three, lay the light bar down with the nail hole on top and you'll glue the light bar in between those nail heads in the cab and then nail it together. For step four, stand the ladder base up and place one of the ladder supports on top and secure it with one of the short nails. Now you'll do this for the top and bottom, but with kids, I noticed my youngest one had a hard time getting it started. So with a little bit of help, I was able to pass it off to him and he was able to complete it. For step five, you'll take that ladder base and attach it to the body with that hole that we left remaining in the back of the ladder truck. Now we forgot to glue this, but this is actually pretty important to glue because you want this to be secure. There's gonna be some ladder action going on here in step six, and we want this to be secure. So remember to glue that part. In step six, we're inserting this rounded edge of the ladder into the ladder end supports, and then securing it with the two short screws. So if you notice that it's hard to move, you just have to you just have to loosen up the screws a little bit. Don't make sure it's too loose, so it's gonna be like all over the place. All right, so next up is the wheels. We are in the home stretch of this project. Take one of the axle pegs and slide it through the wheels and into the hole. And you'll probably need a hammer just to get that into the hole nice and snug. Do that for all the wheels, and then you're ready to move on to stickers. We're actually gonna decorate these, but we're gonna think about the ways that a fire truck would need to be seen in the dark. And this is all part of the workshop extension activity that comes with the kit. Home Depot collaborates with Discovery Education and they've created this website called Science Fair Central. So each of the kits will come with an additional activity for your kids to do. So we've got some glow in the dark paint, we've got some reflectors, some LED lights, and now we can actually figure out what this fire truck needs to have on it so it can be seen in the dark. I was able to get some strip LED lights from Home Depot, but we also had these balloons from Quabana's birthday from just last month. And so we took the little lights out of there and thought those would be really cool to attach. And we also wanted to do some glow in the dark spray paint. So I actually sprayed a little bit into a bowl and then allowed the kids just to use paint brushes to apply it. But if you'd like to paint this before you assemble it, just make sure that you don't paint inside or around the peg holes or don't paint around the joint area where the ladder meets the ladder supports. You wanna make sure that that can move freely. You'll need scissors to trim down the reflective tape and you might need some hot glue for light. Now the strip of LED lights that I got, it had just a peel off so I could just peel and stick. And I didn't know how I was going to apply this, but we came up with a great idea. We thought we would just wrap it around and surprisingly, the remote control fit perfectly on the ladder and I thought this would be a really cool night light for a kid's room. The glow in the dark paint, we could have put on a little bit heavier, but this was really, really cool. I love this part. 
But what if you want to make this at home just out of materials you have lying around? Well, you know what? You can make this. All you need is one to two boxes of cereal, just cardboard, some plastic bottle caps, metal tabs, machine screws, four of them, paintbrush, scissors, of course, and some hot glue. And don't forget the ruler and you'll need two Lego bricks. This is the pattern that I created for you. You can download this for free in the blog post that goes with this project. Print it out on your printer and then put it on the cardboard box and just trace it out. You will have to make some cuts just like you see I'm doing here so that you'll be able to fold and use your fingernail and create a nice crease along that line so that you'll be able to fold this nicely. You've got a wing on the left and a wing on the right. Place a little bit of hot glue on each of those and attach it to the bottom. And once you do that, you'll start seeing this come together and it will sort of automatically fold into each other and you'll be able to wrap those sides around and glue that so that it sticks very well. And this will create a nice little cab and then you can move on to the body. Now this is the pattern for the body. This is also available in the blog post and you will have to fold and also make the crease with your fingernail, but it folds up very nicely. And don't worry about any edges that are remaining because when you paint this, that paint will set onto those edges and you won't really be able to see them. It's not very noticeable, but you'll see that this is shaping up with a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of just origami. It all comes together. It's amazing what cardboard can do, right? Who knew that we could just do something really cool and not just throw this into the recycling bin? Use your hot glue to glue the cab to the body and make sure that it's lined up pretty evenly. And once that's done, use a little bit of hot glue and take one of the Lego bricks and this is going to be the light bar. The other Lego brick is going to be the ladder base. And so we'll apply that, let that dry, and then move over to the plastic bottle caps. Now I did forget to mention in my supplies that you will need spray paint if you want this to look like tires and make it be easy. It's easier with spray paint than craft paint, but you can use either one. So while that's drying, we're gonna attach these ladder supports. These are just soda can tabs. And these were perfect because when you take a little bit of the cardboard and roll it up and secure it with glue, it actually works very well right through the center hole of that tab. So I did trim this down just a little bit so it's not sticking out, but in the meantime, let's make the ladder. And I also, again, have a pattern for this as well in the blog post, but it's pretty simple. The main thing is that you want to create something that's about one by one so that it fits on this ladder base. And Oh, another material that I forgot to mention is tape. You wanna use tape because we're gonna take a pencil and poke a hole through so that that little rolled up piece of cardboard can go through the hole. And because this is right near the edge of the cardboard, the pencil going through is going to tear. So if you put a little bit of tape there, it actually helps to secure this area so that when the pencil goes through and creates that hole, it doesn't tear the cardboard. You'll also notice that the bottom of this ladder is curved. And so when you insert this peg, I guess I did a cardboard peg, you'll be able to freely move this ladder up and down. And now let's move on to the wheels. The wheels are pretty easy to poke a hole through. Just use a screwdriver or something sharp. And then once you've got a hole in the center, take a machine screw or just any screw line around the house that's long enough and insert it into the cap. Now with your pencil, find the location of the hole for the peg, this is our machine screw peg, and insert it and just make sure that it fits. I found that it was helpful to make those holes before you painted the cardboard. So once it was all done, this was so cute. We did a ladder, we did some white on the wheels, and it looks just like the other ones. And so if you can't get your hands on one of these, you can definitely make it yourself and your kids will feel proud when they get that pin and that certificate of accomplishment. So this was a really fun project and we had great weather outdoors and I think the kids enjoy this. And I don't know about you guys, but I really loved the lights. That was a really cool feature. So if you wanna make this, you can get it from Home Depot or go to homedepot.com or you can just make the cool cardboard version at home with just things that you have lying around the house. I'm Serena. I'm Kojo. I'm Ernie. And I'm Quabana. 
And this has been a wonderful project from Home Depot. They have actually teamed up with Discovery Education, and you can find this project and more from sciencefaircentral.com. We will see you next Home Depot Kids Workshop. All right, it's a wrap.